guys welcome back to um social studies here so today we're going to talk about the um geography of ancient italy or rome so let's get started here so as you can see i have a map of italy so we all know italy is the boot of the world so first off, Rome is at the center of the Italian uh, peninsula. So here is Rome, as you can see, all right? And there is a high mountain range called the Alps, which is right here. So this is where the, Apple, the Alps mountains are located right here, all right? And it separates Italy from all of Europe. So all of Europe is right here. Like that includes France, Switzerland, Germany, Hungary, all of these uh, countries north of Italy are, um, and actually west of, I'm sorry, east of Italy are all part of Europe. Now that Apennines right here. This is the Apennines Mountains. So they kind of fall in the center of Italy. So they run down the center right here all the way down. And Italy, as you can see, when you see a lot of green, you know this is more what we call flat land. So they, Italy has a less rugged landscape in Greece because of all of the green or flat land that you see in Italy. Um, this is this also made it easier for soldiers to march throughout the region, and it also allowed Rome to actually unite a whole lot better because um, you have less invasions in Italy. All right, and we all know uh, Italy has a lot of rivers, so you have the Po River, Lake Garda. We learned about, also we learned about the Tiber River. These are all rivers uh, that are in Italy. And we all know when you have lots of water, um, you know, you can plant a lot of items. And this also allowed for uh, Italy to actually have larger transportation. We can trade goods from one region to the other. And because of this, Italy has a large, fertile, uh, flatlands. So we all know this was suited for what? Planting plants, which means we have more food sources for the Roman people. Um, Ro Roman soldiers, at, I'm sorry, Roman farmers produce olive oil, wheat, grapes, and wine. So we all know that Italy is very famous for their olive oil when they're making, um, Pasta, right? Pasta is very key um, when you're using or creating sauces and things of that nature. And grapes. Grapes come, I'm sorry, wine does come from grapes. So they're very rich in that. Um, also farmers, uh, they actually raise sheep and goats for milk and wool. So are some of the resources and things that Italy is very well known for. Wheat is also good for creating pasta, so spaghetti, tortellini. Um, I'm a huge. I love pasta. Pasta is like my favorite thing. Um, and then also, ancient Rome, right here, was very well known. Was part of a region called Latium, and if you know what that means, Latium basically gave their la uh, gave them their language, Latin. All right. So, um, what I'm going to have you guys do, and then we, I'm sorry, before we get, kind of wrap up, so we all know the Mediterranean Sea right here, one of the biggest seas in Italy, right here, Italian, I'm sorry, Mediterranean Sea, alright, so one question that I have for you is, based on what we know about ancient Rome landscape, what advantages did Italy Italy's plains give Rome. So there's one question that I want you to answer. And there are two other questions that I want you to answer that I will have posted for you to actually write your uh, responses on. So please make sure that you answer those questions 
um, under the um, under this video. So I hope this helps you to review on ancient Italy's uh, geography. If you have any questions, let me know and see you next time. Bye.